I am at Valley Forge, at the base of the monument where over 2,000 men gave their lives for this nation to become free. In 1777, the revolution was in full swing. Soldiers came here, they needed a break from the battles which they weren't winning. The cause for freedom was failing. So they came to Valley Forge to regroup, to get ready for what was in front of them. But when they got here, disease set in and illness and, and it just got really cold and they were hungry and they ran out of supplies and, and it just got destitute. They came with 12,000 people and 2,000 died. I mean, it was so bad, it drove Washington to his knees. From that moment on, things changed. Supplies started to come, food was arriving, needed resources to continue the revolution were showing up. They left here with 20,000 men. These people knew deep down in their hearts that freedom, real freedom, unalienable rights that can't be taken from you, from a government, a king, or anyone. The thought of having that type of a world, it was worth it. The war changed after Washington got up from his knees. They came as an untrained group of people just fighting the cause of freedom, and they left ready to take on the most powerful army in the world. And with God on their side, they knew they could do it. This nation is not an accident. What are you willing to do for the cause of freedom? To retain your unalienable rights, to pray, to, to live your life, to love, to serve, to fail, to succeed. This is the center of what America is. E pluribus unum. That is our nation's motto, and it means many coming together to form one. And that is Valley Forge. So to all you veterans out there, I hope you feel the gratitude of your family, your friends, and of this nation for your sacrifices as we pay tribute to you on this Veterans Day. Thank you again and have a wonderful, wonderful day.